today we're going to start the day at the Contemporary Hotel. We've got dining reservations at the Wave, and we're here a little early. We don't really want to go to the park because we're kind of fresh and we don't want to get all sweated up before we have lunch. So we're just going to look around the Contemporary. As we walk out the back, or the front, depending on your perspective, you see Bay Lake Tower, and that's the Disney Vacation Club portion of the Contemporary. Boy, you sure see this guy in a lot of people's pictures, don't you? They even have a platform here to set your camera. Not a hidden Mickey, just a couple of Mickeys. There's one there with a bird on his ear, and there's also a Mickey down there on the ground. The splash pads are over there, and behind that is the pool. Here's a registration desk on the main level, and right next to that is where you can find the Wave restaurant. We're going to head up to the fourth floor. That's where you can find the restaurants and shops. Of course, there is an elevator that goes up here, but we're taking the escalator. The Contemporary looks a little different right now. They're undergoing some renovations, and all of the room views are no longer here. We can't see the rooms, and the rooms can't see us. I'm not even sure if people are even staying inside the main building anymore. I think they might be just renting the garden wing. And here is Chef Mickey's. This is character dining. And right now they have character dining going on in a Contempo Cafe. That's where you can come down and do some grab and go. And if you decide to do grab and go from the Contempo, you can get some tables with a really nice view. Look at that. This sounds like a fun activity. Once upon a time painting, $30 plus tax. Up in the California Grill, you can paint a lighted ceramic castle. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm here for a short period of time. I'm not going to be able to do that, but I think I would like to. And we're going to head into PVG. It's a gift shop. There's a couple of gift shops on this level. A little bit of everything here. Donald's just like me, walking around with his camera. They always have yearly merchandise. But this year is going to be special because of the 50th anniversary. Really colorful. Look at these guys. Mickey looks kind of tall. The, the proportion looks taller than Mickey usually does for this one for some reason. Yeah, more of that same theme. This is a nice shirt, but it looks like it should be sold at the Polynesian, not the Contemporary. You can see hula mini, pineapples, and palm trees, and there's Mickey. A few different kinds of Mickey. Tommy Bahama, I'm gonna guess 150 bucks if I can find a price tag. Nope, it was 130. Still kind of pricey. Oh, maybe I can get something for my cats. There is a dish that says Meowjical. 20 bucks for that cat dish. Well, $19.99. Isn't that how we all feel when we're at Walt Disney World? I'm just happy to be here. Now that's what I call an entrance. Let's head over to Fantasia. It's another shop. 
hundred bucks for the Disney Railroad. I don't know if that comes with tracks or if it just runs on the ground. A lot of plushies in here, board games, Disney Rubik's Cube, lots and lots of plushies. If you want to get a plushie, this is the place. Look at that. Sorcerer Mickey, traditional Mickey, graduation Mickey, lots of cool things here. And there's some newer stuff here too. Here's some things from Seoul. All the Princess Barbies. And you can see the monorail in the background. These would be fun play sets if you have a little one. What is this? No color. Oh, I'll bet it lights up with color inside. There's batteries in here. I'll bet that that lights up. Yeah, night light. I wonder if it's just white or if it's colorful. I have a neat little night light if you want to put one in the kids' room. Oh, remote control monorail. That's pretty cool. Diecast monorail. A lot of different transportation things here. And we have phone cases. Magic bands. Look at this one. Oh, is that neat? It says squeeze me. I don't think it really does anything if you squeeze it. Wow, I've never seen that one before. That is very cool. And this is something I'm seeing more and more of. It's the magic keepers. This is also something that I'm seeing for the first time on this visit. Welcome foolish mortals. I'll bet that glows in the dark, the eyes off of their heads. Welcome all unfortunate souls. Respect the bow. It's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Don't just fly. Soar. Very cool. And we have journal books. All right, this looks like the girls rack right here. So. I don't have much to say about it. Well, maybe not. There's a Buzz Lightyear. School kit, school set. Here's some pirate toys. Very neat stuff there. Kids would love a pirate hat. What a, what a boy would love having a pirate hat. And a cutlass. I think so. I would love it when I was a kid. Mandalorian. Man, there's a lot of stuff here. And here's all the pet stuff. Look at that, they have comfort harnesses, dog socks. Oh no, don't do this to your dog. Dog socks, dishes, they have a carpet to put your dishes on, a feeding mat. That's neat. A lot of really cool Disney stuff for your pet. Can I repeat? Don't do that to your dog. They don't want to let us down. We're going to go and check out the treats at the Contempo Cafe. Or maybe not. I realize as I walk in, it's mobile ordering and they have some display items outside, but I don't think they have the open line that you walk through and pick up the items like they always have traditionally. So will it come back to that? I don't know. But right now, it doesn't look like you go through there and walk through the line. This hotel, I think, is the oldest hotel on property along with part of the Polynesian. And you think when they built the Contemporary, calling it the Contemporary, they thought it would be here 50 years later. I mean, is what was Contemporary 50 years ago Contemporary now? What do you think? We can see that they're doing upgrades. Do you think this building is going to be here for the long term? Or do you think at some point, Disney might say, yeah, it's time to switch things up. Let's try something new. The Disney Vacation Club wings are relatively new. What do you think? Leave your comments down below, let me know. We're gonna head over to the Outer Rim which is right next door to Chef Mickey's. 
and let's have a drink while we wait to have our meal over at the Wave. They do have a nice drink menu here. And we're only going to get one cocktail while we're waiting for the reservation at the Wave. So I don't know if it's going to be something just run of the mill or something really special, you know, trademark. There's a Magical Star cocktail that we made during one of my Thirsty Thursday videos. That's a really a picturesque little bar. This is a blue glotini. It's sky infusion citrus vodka, bowls peach snaps, bowls blue curacao, and pineapple juice with a sugared rim and a souvenir glow cube. Ooh, does not look good. And I'm having a Bahama Mama, Parrot Bay Coconut Rum, Plantation Original Dark Rum, Bowls Creme de Banana, and Tropical Juices. So if you look at that blue ripple, it is replicated in the lighting. Isn't that neat? My wife was walking through the atrium and a cast member came up and handed her this pin and told her have a magical day. So isn't that cool? A little bit of Disney magic. And we see the same signs on our way out. My wife reminded me of the Outer Rim really is all about the outer rim of the Grand Canyon because this was originally designed as uh, with a southwest motif. As you can see in the murals and the artwork. Right. And now we're on our way to our reservation at the way. Let's head in. And here is a very, very blue waiting room. Much brighter in this video than it really is in here. It's really quite dark. Compared to looking out into the greeting area. So here's a bar. Kind of interesting. And there's another area just like the blue room off to the side. Look at that. So the table backs reflect the name of the restaurant, The Wave. And as you can see, it is family friendly. Families and kids are in here today. And we're here for lunch. The ceiling reflects the wave as well. Look at that. I hope this wasn't a mistake, but we got the Seven Seas Lagoon shared cocktail. So I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna drink it myself. Sky Vodka Parrot Bay Coconut Rum. Rose blue carousel, lime juice, pineapple juice, fruit, boba, and gummy fish. So you get a bunch of candy in this thing. Now notice all the open tables. Right now, it says no reservations are available. So take away from that what you may. And this is it, the Seven Seas Cocktail for Two. And all that gummy stuff is down there, and we have a lighted ice cube up there. Wow. That is quite the drink. I mean, I don't know if you can see how big this thing is. It's, uh, it's, it's big. It's way bigger than a softball. A little smaller than a, than a soccer ball. But this is a really, really big drink. I don't know how you can fish all that gummy stuff out of there, but I'm gonna try it. There's some of those Swedish fish. I love those things. <laughs> it's good. So this is a soup, salad, and sandwich. It's a turkey sandwich and the soup of the day. And doesn't that salad look good? And when I got 
was the turkey sandwich. Yeah, you can see it has a lot of stuff on it. Lettuce, tomato, oh, bacon. Look, it looks, it looks, looks fantastic. Honest, I'm okay. I only had one. <laughs> Never underestimate me again. That place was so good. 57 bucks including the giant drink. Highly recommend it. Thanks for joining me everyone. I hope you had a great time. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon up above. That way you'll know when I post new videos. I'm Mark and this is the Average Me Channel.